Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about selection sort. So selection sort is the second sorting algorithm that we will be studying for your class 12th NCRT computer science. Uh, and the first uh, sorting algorithm that we considered in the previous video along with its example and code in Python was the bubble sort algorithm. Now let's see what is selection sort and how is it different from bubble sort. So selection sort basically divides the list of elements that has to be sorted into two parts. The first part will contain the sorted elements which will be present on the left side of the original list. So uh, in every pass, the elements that you keep on sorting, the sorted elements will uh, be shifted to the left side of the list. Okay. And the right list, the list containing unsorted elements will be considered further for sorting in further passes. Okay, so the two parts of the list that has to be sorted will be the left part consisting of sorted elements and the right part consisting of unsorted elements that will be considered further in consecutive passes. Okay, so how does selection sort works? Initially, you are given a list of numbers. We are considering the case when we have to sort the numbers in ascending order. Okay, so initially the left list, which is the list of sorted elements will be empty because all the elements are uh, assumed to be unsorted and the right list will contain all the elements of the original list. So now to arrange in ascending order, first what we'll do, we'll uh, assume that the first element of the list in the first pass the that means the element present at index 0 which is the first unsorted element as of now is the minimum element that is present in the list so the logic behind selection sort is you traverse all the elements of the list and every time you see an element you check whether this element is the minimum element of the particular list that you are sorting so we will assume in the first iteration that the element present at index 0 is the minimum element then we will move ahead and every time we see a new element we will compare the new element with the previous minimum that we have found so far and if the uh, new value, the new element that we are seeing is smaller than the minimum that we have seen so far. We will swap their positions at the end of the pass. Okay, so it is the selection sort algorithm works like playing a set, playing with a set of cards. What you actually do when you have to arrange the cards that have been dealt to you from A to King, you keep, you pick an element, you pick a card and you place it on the left hand side so that it is present at the correct sorted position. Then you pick a card from the right end or from the unsorted cards and then you place it between the uh, sorted elements at its correct position. So let's see in detail stepwise how you will use selection sort to sort the elements in ascending order. So in the first pass, we will traverse all the elements and while traversing, we will find what is the smallest element that we have seen so far. Now, when we find the smallest element after checking all the elements, then we will swap this particular element wherever it is present with the leftmost element of the unsorted list. So in the first pass, when nothing is sorted, then the leftmost element of the unsorted list is the element present at index 0. So wherever uh, we have found the smallest element, we will change its position. We will place the smallest element to the index 0 and we will uh, shift the element that is present at index 0 to the place where the smallest element was originally present. Okay. So I'll explain this with an example also, but before that, let's consider all the rules. So once uh, this element has been placed at its correct location, it is considered to be sorted and in further passes, you will not consider it for comparison because it is already sorted. It is assumed that it is present at its correct location. So you have checked all the elements. You have found what is the smallest. Now you have placed the smallest at the very beginning. 
so what next thing you have to do in the second pass you have to check that out of the remaining elements which are unsorted now what is the next smallest element okay so the second smallest you have to find out by checking all the remaining unsorted elements and once you find out the second smallest you will swap its original position with the uh, leftmost element of the unsorted list and now what will be the leftmost element of the unsorted list in the sec second pass the index one it so you will place the second smallest element just adjacent to the smallest element that you found in the previous iteration in the previous pass and that was placed at index zero so at the end of second pass you will place the second smallest element at index value 1 then again you will continue this process and after n minus 1 passes all n minus 1 elements that means you would have found n minus 1 smallest elements in n minus 1 passes and your entire list would be sorted because if out of five elements you have correctly placed four elements the fifth element will be at its correct position okay so just like we saw in bubble sort to sort a list of n elements you need n minus one passes and the same goes for selection sort also